In the field at the moment is the Toyota Camry XSE. It's the official pace car for tonight's race. And a celebrity passenger in there, Paige Spiranak, the golfing and modelling influencer, is enjoying her time here at Daytona International Speedway. All right, so we are almost set to go. This season has been eventful. The season's been highly entertaining. Of late, there's been a little bit of controversy. So what does this Coke Zero Sugar 400 have in store for us tonight? For Front Row Motorsports, it's already a special occasion, but they've got bigger things on their mind. For the drivers who are winless this season, it's all here, and they know what a lottery drafting tracks and super speedways can be. There is so much on the line here. It's time to bring the action at Daytona International Speedway. Under the lights, there is not a better place to shine. Whose night will it be over the next 160 laps? Let's go! can go. Now the drivers are dialed in and focused and they can get to work at hand. And now the cars are reaching top speed. It takes nearly a lap to get all the way to max speed. You see they're organized two by two. Everyone kind of playing nicely on newer tires. It wouldn't shock me at the bottom of the racetrack. Near that yellow line is the preferred lane. And we saw an Xfinity race last night, a wreck early, Hill. I think these guys pay attention to that. They're going to push and shove a little bit, but they're going to try to be smart about it. But this is a short stage. You're going to have to go. You're going to have to make some moves early. It is short. Only 35 laps, well within the capabilities of the fuel level, so no pit stops required. It's go for broke. Gamble as much as you want. Dawson Dillon trying to lead this third lane. He jumped up there, a lot of cars behind him. Interesting to see if that could work. And if you're thinking at home, wouldn't it be a remarkable performance for Austin Dillon to grab a win here where he has won before and put all the controversy of Richmond behind you, not alone. It's been a popular topic of conversation here in Florida this week. Look at Logano pushing McDowell on that low line. I think some line management going on by these teammates on the front row, Steve. Trying to stay side by side, kind of popping up the whole the whole field, but now Logano gave a big push to McDowell, got him out in front. Problem is if they play too much deep. Cindric. Eight Fords near the front of this pack. Only the 24 of William Byron, the lone Chevrolet, trying to get in the mix. There's some separation here. Like the hung throttle, the car shut off and qualified. Eric Jones. Crew chief Dave Edwards, he thought that they had it secured, but it's going to be a good feeling to see it run a solid 21 laps. There it was Jimmy, the owner on the pit box, has to be feeling good that the car has moved up that many spots. Eric won here six years ago when he was with JGR. He loved to repeat that. How about these front row forts, Jeff? Up on the high line. <laughs> Nine laps left in this opening stage of the Coke Zero Sugar 400, and it's three across the back stretch. Josh Berry down on that low line. Brad Keselowski, Austin Cedric. It's a very Ford-heavy top ten with just a few Chevys thrown in there. Lead Toyota is Bubba Wallace back in 12th position. Cedric just took the lead, and when he did track was wide open. He could have gone all the way to the bottom. A little bit of contact in the wall with Cindric off of four. And Hillen was pushing him really hard. Yeah, definitely a little bit of screen back here by that right rear tire. Everything looks okay. We had a couple flat tires last night in the Xfinity Series in the middle of the packs. They all kind of got away with it. Take a look at this. Oh. Oh, you saw the fire out the pipes too, so that backfire is clear. 
indication that he's out of the throttle. Teammates are working nicely on the low line here. Ryan Blaney, the reigning series champion, pushing Joey Logano in the 22 with Josh Berry out in front. But let's go back to Blaney, talk more about that. Here's Kim. Yeah, and Lee, the last two months, they've really flexed their muscle in the 12 team and showed that they could go back to back for championships. But right now, Ryan. Again, Ryan Blaney very frustrated. Parker with the car cannot do what he wants to in the draft. Well, that's not the case for Josh Berry. He leads here at the front of his field, and he only has a handful of super speedway starts in the Cup Series. So I asked him, how have you adjusted the race in the Cup Series? Who have you talked to for advice? He said, well, of course, I've talked to Dale Jr. And obviously drove for him in the Xfinity Series. He said, but one big problem talking to Dale. He makes it sound so easy. There's 